Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. Wanted to do one a little bit different here today and talk about why we ended up choosing a Bull Mastiff over a Doberman Pinscher when we had previously owned a Doberman for uh, about seven and a half years. Um, absolutely loved the Doberman breed. Um, our Doberman's name was Kobe and that's actually him in, a, in the uh, thumbnail picture there. Um, he's an awesome dog. Loved Dobermans. Um, very intense, very intelligent. Um, couldn't have asked for a better dog, you know, at the time that we had him in our lives. He's everything that we that we wanted in the Doberman breed. Um, but ultimately, we chose a Bull Mastiff over a Doberman the second time around uh, because of lifestyle changes with us. Um, and I'll talk more about that as the video goes on. But nothing against Dobermans at all. Great breed. And uh, I hope we end up liking Tua here as much as we liked Kobe. Um, main reason, though, getting into it now, that we ended up going with the Bull Mastiff after doing research and after we thought we'd for sure have another Doberman by this time, was when we got Kobe, it was just my wife and I, no kids or anything like that. And... Uh, we could pretty much devote all of our time to him. And with Dobermans, like I said, they're very intense, and that's what's so great about them. They're super intelligent. It's like having another person in the house. And also with that, they are very athletic, and they need a lot of exercise and a lot of mental stimulation. And when we first got him, you know, that was okay, no problem whatsoever. We were willing to go on walks and runs, and I would take him on my bike and he would just run for several miles and like sprinting the whole time. It was, it was really fun actually just to watch him go. And you, I mean, they're tough to even, they're tough to wear out. They, they just go, man. And that's what's great about them. But when he died two years ago, which uh, was very unexpected and very sudden, and maybe I'll do a video about what exactly happened with him. Um, in the future here and because it was like I said it was just sudden like he was perfectly healthy so we thought and literally collapsed and died one day so I'll, I'll probably talk about that one day um, but for right now without spending too much time on him we'll get back to uh, comparing bull bull master versus Doberman um, but yeah now now we have two kids so when we were talking about getting another Doberman, that's what kind of kept coming up. Are we going to have the time to devote to giving him the mental stimulation that he would need and the physical? Because uh, they, they need to go for runs, not, not just walks. you got to run these dogs, and you got to give them the mental stimulation. And with having two kids now, not that we don't spend lots of time with Tua here, but it's different. A little walk around the block for a mile, something like that, that that's good enough. Doberman that's not and would that be fair to him that we're not willing to give him the exercise that he needs and Ultimately that was one thing that we thought no, it's not So check mark for the bull mastiff in that category um, Another issue that we had with Kobe uh, He was a barker Loved to bark and that was just the guard dog in him if the wind was blowing strong and there was leaves blowing around the backyard and he saw that out of the corner of his eye, he'd be up against the window growling at it. Um, anybody would walk by, he'd bark at him. Uh, dogs outside bark at him. Rabbits outside bark at him. Birds outside bark at him. And ultimately, the only way that we were able to deal with that is, I know it's kind of controversial, but we got him a shock collar. And before I start getting any hate for using a shock collar, I'll tell you guys that I did put it on my arm when we got it. And I went from the lowest setting all the way up to the highest setting. And I shocked myself. And yeah, it, it's not very comfortable, but it's not like this crazy intense pain. And it's not like we have abused the power of the shock collar. Really, it only took, you know, a few times of hitting him with a lower setting for him to realize, like, when, he, when he's barking, that I can't do it or I'm going to get zapped. And 
he, 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 they're so intelligent, he caught on so quick, all we'd have to do is have the shot caller on him, n not even turn the thing on, and he would just know, okay, if I bark, I'm going to get zapped. So he spent a lot of time in that, didn't spend a lot of time actually needing it used on him, but he would wear it just like a normal collar, basically, and he would know, okay, I can't bark. That was what we ultimately had to do to curb his barking. So looking into bull mastiffs, we found out that they're really not much of barkers. Mm -hmm. And so far with two of being 18 weeks old or 13 weeks old and thinking back to when we had Kobe already at this point, Kobe was a barker. And the only time that Tua barks right now is if he's really in the intense play with our min pin. And it's just playful barking. It's not like I'm trying to guard anything barking or anything like that. Where Colby would just bark for no reason, bark at everything. If he wanted out of his kennel, his crate, he'd bark. To what he wants out of his crate, he just whines or kind of starts getting restless. So that that was another thing we thought. Check mark bull mastiff. We didn't really want to have to deal with the barking anymore. Um, another thing is Colby got very dog aggressive and kind of for no reason. And the more I researched it when we had him was it's kind of common in male Dobermans, fixed or unfixed, to get dog aggressive. Um, and we, as far as I'm concerned, did everything right as far as socializing him. We took him to puppy classes, we took him to pet stores, we took him over to other people's houses, we exposed him to friends' dogs, we brought him to pretty much anywhere that we could. And it just, it didn't happen all at once, but it just slowly built up to he became dog aggressive except for the dogs, the two or three dogs that he had grown up with. He got along great with them, but any other strange dog, there was like nothing that we could do. And would he ever have attacked another dog? I don't know. I never gave him an opportunity to, but he would get pretty intense with growling and barking, you know, if we'd pass by one on a walk or anything like that. And it never ended up being a huge deal because we were never in situations where we had to expose him to dogs that were unfamiliar to him unless we wanted to so we just avoided situations like that but would it have been nice to be able to bring him to more situations where he might encounter a dog absolutely so the more i was reading i read that yes bull mastiffs can have that issue but they're not as prone to having that issue so check mark for bull mastiff again um Health concerns. They both have their fair share of health concerns. With, I would say, the Bull Mastiff actually having probably more. So that one was a checkmark Doberman. Um, bull Mastiff, from everything I've read, very prone to cancer, uh, hip issues, uh, with an expected life of 8 to 10 years, where Dobermans have an expected life of 10 to 13. Not as many issues, but as we found out the hard way. Um, can definitely have and, uh, issues and pass away unexpectedly, just like ours did at a young age of seven and a half when uh, there was no issues as far as we knew. Um, so that one, I guess, would have been checkmark Doberman for health, although in our experience, we weren't so lucky. Uh, Size-wise, we, we definitely wanted a big dog. We like big dogs. Um, they're kind of similar in size. Doberman Pinscher, male. Uh, 26 to 28 inches tall at the shoulder, 80 to 100 pounds. Kobe was uh, about 101, 102, so he was on the big end of that. Um, and he, he was uh, he was just ripped. I mean, he was like a pro athlete, man. He was he was a pretty incredible dog. Uh, bull Mastiffs, a little bit shorter in general, or about the same size, 26, 28 inches at the shoulder, but heavier, 110 pounds to about 130 for the males. <laughs> getting as high as uh, 150 and uh, so size wise you know kind of check mark both of them didn't really matter because um, they're they're both big dogs I, to me the bigger the better and I had always kind of wanted a bull mastiff um, but the more and more that we were thinking about this and stuff we just decided that the main issue was going to be um, energy levels because we weren't going to be able to devote as much time to another Doberman to get him the exercise that they definitely need. Tua. 
and two is not really doing a good job of showing energy level right now, but he's just being a puppy. But he is, at this point, versus where Colby was, from what I can remember, when Colby was this age, uh, Tua is much more relaxed. Yes, he has a little burst of energy. Yes, he's acting like a puppy right now. But definitely way more laid back. Not too worried about running. When he's playing, he'll run a little bit. He'll do a sprint here and there. So we just thought it would be more fair to the dog to have a dog that didn't need as much intense energy or intense exercise as a Doberman. Um, I definitely see myself getting a Doberman again one day whenever uh, our lifestyles change that we'd be able to devote more time for exercise and mental stimulation. But that it just wasn't wasn't a good time right now. So we ended up going with the Bull Mastiff. And as of right now, I'm very happy with it. Dude, you're crazy right now. And uh, I, I'm glad we did it because I don't think we would have regretted getting a Doberman again, but I think it would have been a lot more work and stress for us to give him the life that he deserved, where I think it's going to be a lot easier with Tua to keep him happy with uh, what we can kind of offer at this point in our life with having kids and, and everything like that. So if you guys have any questions about Doberman, since I consider myself kind of experienced with them, we had seven and a half years with a great one, um, ask me, or any questions about Bull Mastiffs up to the age of 13 weeks, which she's at right now, I'm getting my experience in now with him. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll do another one tomorrow. Uh, update, update with him 14 weeks tomorrow. Thanks, guys.